Hi everyone. Now we are going to say about random access files in C++. Agenda of this session is introduction, <coughs> random access file, functions, flag modes, and advantages and disadvantages of random access files and conclusion. So now we start with introduction so in the introduction part we are going to see about what is file a file is nothing but uh, we are accessing the file that file is nothing but it is a collection of an information that stores on a computer disk that information can be stored into the file and we can reuse that right so how you are accessing this file so that is what we are going to see in this session. We are accessing that files in the random access mode. A random access file is nothing but we can access the file directly. So it is also known as a direct access. Because our system knows where the data is stored. So it goes directly and read the data directly. So only we are calling that as random access file. So next we are going to see the functions in random access file. We have a four point of file functions in random access. So why we are using the pointer function here? When we are using the files, we want to point that position or point uh, read the file or write the file so only here we are using the pointer file function here so we are using the cg function skip uh, cp function tell g function and tell p function first we, let's we start with our skip g function if uh, in this function we can use this to move the input pointer to the specific location. Here I have given the syntax. By the syntax, this file object is nothing but which file we are going to access. And long num means number of bytes. And origin means bad to be skipping this bytes so so why i giving my given my syntax as file object dot skip g of long num comma origin so by using this uh, syntax i can move move, move my uh, move my input pointer to the specific location so next one skip g function sorry skip p function in skip g function we move the input pointer to the specific function specific location but in skip p function we are moving output pointer to specific function it is also a same as skip g so but it works for writing so here i given the syntax as like skip g so file object dot skip p long num and origin. Next tell g. So in skip function we uh, used to move the input or output file pointers. But in tell g we are returning to the current position. So returning to the to input to the current position. In tell p we are returning current position of output pointer in tell g we are returning the input pointer in tell p we are returning the output pointer to the current position next we are going to see the flag mode in the seek function here we have a uh, three flag modes first one ios big Second one iOS end and third one iOS current. iOS beg. 
it is nothing but the file pointer will get back to the beginning of the file if you want to go to the go to the beginning of the file means we can use the ios big and next one ios end ios end is nothing but it's uh, it end of, it is the it points the end of the file we need to end of the file that means current position of the file sorry it means it, it it will end the file mode that means last point if you want to go to the last position means we can use the ios end next ios current ios current is nothing but it shows it current position where we are pointing so that is known as a ios current next one what are the advantages of the um, random access uh, it, it, uh, the, this random access file helps in the online transaction like uh, railway systems and it shorts uh, uh, shorting is not required in the random access it access the desired uh, records immediately and it updates the several files quickly these all the advantages of random access files and we have some disadvantages also uh, what are the disadvantages uh, it does uh, that the in random access files does not provide any backup facilities and the same time it is expensive also so it 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 has less storage space comparing to the sequence file so these all the disadvantages of the random access file so so that's it about the random access file we can conclude the session uh, for we see we seen random access file a random access file is nothing but it is a computer system can read and write the information anywhere in the data file it is also known as a direct access file it has some functions that is seek g seek p tell g and tell p for seek function we have some flag modes that is ios big ios current and ios end so that's it so thank you to listen my lecture thank you